back to my channel firewall again today we are going to see few memory diagnostic commands so we'll be looking for the uh, command for how we use memory utilization or doing the diagnostic for the memory utilization and these are the commands in day-to-day -day life we supposed to use when we talk about the memory or you can say RAM or ROM of a firewall. So without wasting time, let's run this command to firewall. Let's start with the first command, which is free as this one. Let me clear the screen. Let me log into the gateway. And once you log into the gateway, go to the expert mode and just type the command free and enter. If you see, uh, once you run the command, you will see uh, <coughs> too many options here. One is uh, total memory in use. I mean, total memory, what we have and out of it, how, may, uh, how much memory is used. How much memory is free, how much is shared, what is buffer, and how much is cached. Okay, let me do this to this side. Yeah. So basically, uh, we are talking about the total memory, what we have with our gateway and out of it how much is used how much is swapped and everything you can see on your screen so uh, free memory is more of your uh, ROM oh sorry RAM so what random access memory you have it will give you the output of that based on that you can decide okay uh, what is the current utilization of the memory right so i think this is in kb output whatever we are seeing next uh replication command is vm stat to n so here we are specifying the uh, statistics of the memory after a certain type uh, after having a delay so let's run this command as well let me copy this command Let me clear the screen and just type in the command. Run. So you are seeing every two seconds or interval of the two seconds, uh, we are seeing the <coughs> statistics of the uh, memory, what we have memory expression so all this is is your RAM so for example if you have say 4 GB RAM out of it how it get utilized you are seeing here so let me clear the screen and let me rerun this command real quick uh, so I just want that let me clear the screen and let's increase the delay from two seconds to say 10 seconds to see the output so if you see here the spree memory what we have what is buffered how much is cash and these are the rest of the options if you look into detail just go ahead and uh, uh, 
see the VM stat output. From checkpoint firewall side, CP side, you will get more detail on this as well. I wanted to make this video short, so that's why I'm not giving uh, all the details here. Uh, I will give you the reference where you can see all these details. Now next, let me stop this. You can stop it by doing the control C and clear up the screen. Next command. which uh, I want to talk is <coughs> this one sha key again two seconds interval and let me go to the gateway man let me give the interval for 10 seconds and then process sorry I think I messed up with the command Minus k to 10, minus k 10, 10 is the interval. So it's giving me an error that option. So what I am using is not correct. Okay, so shall I have used uh, minus k option is also there. Oh no. So with this command, that option uh, took away. So let's see if we can run with option say R. It gives you about the interrupts, but still you are getting a. Uh, Good amount of output. BID file name. Mm. So basically, let me run. So, guys, whatever video I'll show you here, I'll do live. I don't do like you know, uh, do my. I mean, put the things. Whatever that I, I'll show here, it's it's uh, ongoing work. It's not something I have planned. So I feel like these are the commands I want to run. I'll show you. So try this command in your environment and see how it looks. Uh, what are the utilization it shows? You know, in a various perspective. Uh, the output whatever we are getting here is see if that is useful for your real-time environment this command won't hurt, uh, hurt you because this only displays whatever we have with respect to the configuration and I'm sure this will help you in you know in variety of ways so let me uh, clear up the screen now let's uh, go to the document and see what else we got so the top command and other commands are there so before that i want to run this cat this is a very classic command what we have to check the memory utilization in terms of ram room so if you run this command you will see the output and uh, here you will see whatever the total memory utilization we have total memory utilization ram memory total utilization sorry raw memory total utilization memory free buffer cached swapped 
and rest of the things. So as per your understanding and as per your requirement, you just you know tally this output. I know in our admin world you are getting a lot of portion related to memories. So these are the commands are your friends. Uh, for more details, just go ahead and look for the checkpoint documents related to those commands or just search over Google. We will get more de details on that. Uh, let's run slab info. This is also a classic command what we have on the checkpoint. Let me clear the screen real quick. Uh, let me run the command. So if you want an in-depth analysis, just try to run these commands and you will see these sort of outputs. Just compare it and try to digest it and make your life easy. We know all the top command. <coughs> the top command basically gives us you know all these details in a proper format. If you the noticing part is here, the zombie or zombie we have then uh, cpu utilization uh, then total memory utilization what we will see here how much is free what is swapped and uh, what are the processes at the sleeping state what things are running and everything and this is what the real time cpu utilization real time memory utilization and what are the uh, things running right now, you will see here. So this is all about the top command. Now, uh, there is one more command remaining, which is ps ox w. It's all about the memory processes, I believe. So let me clear the screen and run this command as well. Yep, it gives you all the processes, little things, which processes, process ID, then what process having what CPU, what memory, what is the start, when it started and everything. So I hope uh, you guys uh, will found this video informative. And guys, thanks for uh, watching this video and I have a good day.